Hi, and welcome to the OPP's REACH video series on how to navigate the Provincial Constable hiring process. I'm Sergeant Kerry Schmidt, and in this video, I'll walk you through the step-by-step -step process to successfully complete and submit your OPP application. Remember, your application is a working document until you hit submit. Once you do, it's final. Each year, many applications are returned due to small, avoidable errors, missing info, incorrect documents, or file size issues. These delays are easily prevented by carefully reading the instructions. Attention to detail is critical for a successful career in policing. So take your time, follow each step, and ensure your information is accurate, honest, and complete. Let's get started. The OPP's application portal is entirely online. To start, visit opp.ca slash careers and click apply now, where you will create a My Ontario account. After signing up, you'll receive a verification code via email. Enter it and you are ready to go. The first page you'll see in the portal is the minimum requirements tab. Any question with a red asterisk is mandatory. Answer no to any of these and you don't meet the eligibility criteria. So what are the basics? Be at least 18 years of age, have a grade 12 education or equivalent, hold full Ontario driving privileges with six or fewer demerit points, be a Canadian citizen or permanent resident, be fluent in English, both spoken and written, no criminal record for which a records suspension or pardon has not been received, and be of good moral character and habits. Even when laws around offenses, for example, marijuana possession, have changed, pardon requirements still apply. Any incorrect or missing info will delay your application. For example, if you say you have full driving privileges but only have a G2, we'll have to send your application back. This is also a good time to note that AI tools are strongly discouraged. This is your opportunity to showcase your skills, including reading, writing, and comprehension. Each application is personally reviewed, so take your time, be honest, and show us the real you. Before you start, take a moment to review our FAQ document. It's packed with helpful tips to guide you through the application. Above all, make sure to review the mandatory documents checklist to ensure you're submitting everything necessary to keep the process moving forward. Some mandatory documents can take time to gather, so it's important to get started early. Use the checklist to guide you through the process. Start by uploading your resume, along with your high school and post-secondary transcripts. If your education was completed outside Ontario, you'll need an educational credential assessment, which takes six to eight weeks to process, so be sure to plan ahead. Next, Provide any relevant certificates, work evaluations, and military records. Military applicants will need to include the Canadian Forces Conduct Sheet, which may take time to acquire. In the last five years, if you've lived outside Canada for more than six months, we'll need out-of-country police certificates from the countries where you've resided. You can find more details on how to obtain these through the Canadian Immigration website. Submit two or three signed reference letters, at least two weeks of fitness logs, and a copy of your driver's license. If you've ever had a driver's license outside of Ontario, you'll also need to provide a full driver's abstract. For secondary ID, submit a Canadian passport, birth certificate, citizenship certificate, permanent resident card, or landed immigrant status with your birth date. If any documents are missing, you'll be asked to upload a brief explanation to keep your application moving. And with that, you're all set to get started. Welcome to the dashboard, the central hub for managing your application. If at any time you need to pause, the dashboard will pick up right where you left off. You'll see your progress bar and real-time updates on your application status. If something's missing, it'll be returned with instructions on what's needed. When there's an update, for example, moving to the interview stage, we'll send you an email with next steps. Inactivity warnings will be sent at 45 and 75 days. After 90 days, your application will be closed. However, simply logging in will keep an application active. If you decide to withdraw, you can do so at any time after submission. And if your application is closed due to inactivity, feel free to reapply when you're ready. The first section of your application is all about your personal information. You'll find a disclaimer explaining why we collect this data and how it helps assess your suitability for the role. 
Contact details are also included if you need any assistance. At the bottom, you'll be asked to upload a recent photo. It must be in color, unaltered, and no older than six months. For the best results, ensure the photo is taken straight on with your shoulders square to the camera. Keep it sharp, focused, and reflective of your current appearance. Next, we move on to identification. Start by submitting your full driver's license, including photos of both the front and back, clearly showing your photo and license number. This is a security requirement. Any mistakes here could delay your application. If you've ever had a driver's license outside of Ontario, this is where you would upload a driver's abstract. Then, select from the following Canadian government-issued documents. Please note, live birth certificates are not accepted. Finally, if you lived outside Canada for at least 180 days in the last five years, we'll need an out-of-country criminal record check. The self-assessment section gives you the chance to share how you see yourself and your abilities. In each section, you'll evaluate yourself on a scale. You'll also have the chance to explain your evaluation, showcasing your written communication skills. Again, we strongly encourage you to avoid using AI for any part of your application. We want to hear it in your own words. Let your voice come through. The resume is your chance to present yourself in your own words. It's more than just a list of jobs. It's an opportunity to showcase your skills, experiences, and what makes you stand out. A well-crafted resume reveals your work ethic, attention to detail, and communication skills. Every piece of writing we receive represents you. With 99.9% .9 of our process being digital, your resume is your best chance to truly speak to us and make a lasting impression. Next up, education and languages. Enter your school information and upload transcripts for each institution. You can use the same transcript for multiple entries. If transcripts are hard to obtain due to school policies or strikes, simply upload a note explaining the situation. International applicants will need to provide an educational assessment. You'll also have the chance to list any additional languages and your proficiency level. While certificates aren't required, they're helpful. Lastly, Francophone applicants may need to complete a French language test for placement in French designated roles. When it comes to employment history, we need as much detail as possible. The more you provide, the clearer the picture we get of your work ethic, background, and transferable skills. We review everything, going all the way back, and with thousands of applications to process each year, we depend on you to give us complete and accurate information. A common challenge is candidates leaving out negative employment history. Keep in mind, our investigators only have a short time to complete their work, and missing or unclear details can cause delays. That's why integrity is crucial in this section. If your claims don't match the facts, it's unlikely you'll make it through the process. Here's a tip. If you have a CRA account, you can access up to seven years of T4s, which can help verify employment dates. Start gathering your mandatory documents early to avoid any roadblocks down the line. Community service is highly valued at the OPP, particularly in roles that directly serve the public, like frontline policing. This section gives us insight into your dedication to making a positive impact in your community. When listing special skills, focus on what truly sets you apart. While common job-related skills are important, it's the unique specialized abilities that make a difference. For example, do you speak multiple languages, scuba dive, or even have your pilot's license? These are just some of the skills that could add value to your role as an OPP officer. So be sure to highlight abilities that could serve you and the community down the line. This is your chance to showcase what makes you exceptional. Police services share databases that track applications across organizations. However, as an applicant, you are required to disclose any previous applications and their status to other services, including the military, corrections, and Canada Border Services Agency. This helps to ensure transparency and consistency in the hiring process. 
For detachment postings, candidates are asked to select six detachments they're interested in. We strongly encourage applicants to conduct detailed research on each detachment they select. Make sure it fits with your lifestyle, your family, and your goals to set yourself up for success. This helps us to balance your preferences with operational needs and open positions. Ultimately, placements have to align with where officers are needed most. But our aim is to connect candidates with a location that fits their goals. At the OPP, we live by the saying, fit for duty, fit for life. Physical and mental fitness ensures a long and healthy career. It's important that you find your physical and mental baseline before you apply. The OPP provides every member with the tools, support, and resources to ensure they stay road ready. At first glance, your fitness logs may seem like a lot, but let's break it down. Each day, you'll track your daily run, duration, distance, and whether it's indoors or outside. Shuttle run attempts, ensuring you're hitting a level seven or higher. Strength training, be specific about the workouts you're doing. Other activities, anything that gets you moving, from yoga to martial arts or even a long walk. Stress management and sleep, because mental wellness and rest are just as important as physical endurance. You'll also track your fitness pin components, push-ups, forward flex, core endurance, and a 2.4 kilometer run. You'll be expected to score at least 75% on this test when you attend the Provincial Police Academy. And we'll cover how to complete and score it in another video. But here's something important to know. You must complete level seven of the shuttle run within seven days of your accepted application. If you don't, your application is deferred and you'll have 90 days to submit it before it's closed. We'll walk you through the shuttle run submission, fitness pin scoring, and the prep testing you'll be doing in a later video. For now, just remember, fitness isn't just a requirement, it's a mindset, and it starts today. Applicants may upload any other documents that they feel will help them be more competitive, including reference letters and any additional supporting materials, certificates, or police officer recommendations. For OPP employee referrals, the system allows applicants to list a current or retired OPP member, whether civilian or uniform, as a referral. This tool is incredibly valuable for us because it provides insight from someone who knows both the candidate and the OPP, helping us determine if they're a good fit. In order to finish your application, you will need to sign our consent disclaimer. Sign this only when you have finished your application, as the consent is only valid for six months, and signing too early could cause issues in longer application processes. The preview is a handy feature which summarizes your application and highlights anything you may have missed. Be sure to check this tab and make sure everything is in order before hitting submit. That's your complete walkthrough for submitting your application with the OPP. We hope this video gives you the insights and confidence you need to take that next step in your journey. This isn't just an application, it's a chance to showcase how you can be a valuable member of the Ontario Provincial Police. Thanks again for your time and for your interest in joining the OPP family. For additional insights, check out the other videos in our REACH series for help across all stages of the Provincial Constable hiring process.